should be messing around with him. Seeing the way he looks at you. Mom, we're just friends. You just go throw her up against the wall, start kissing her. You gotta do something or you might lose her. I need to tell you something. I need to talk to you too. You told me he was gonna leave it alone. You told him we weren't together. What should I have said? What did you wanna say? in the mirror and find something you've never had the courage to say before. Find what you care about, what you believe. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you. I saw it and really, really liked it. This is such a... I, I love the choices you've been making with roles. You've really made that leap from you know, the kid roles to young adult roles. I originally read this script for The Art, Art of Getting By, or Homework as it was originally called. I read it for Freddie Freddie Highmore's character about three years ago. And my least favorite part was, was the Dustin part because I felt like whoever portrayed him was going to portray him like kind of what he is in the script, kind of a tool to really propel Emma's and Freddie's relationship. I felt like he could have just been a kind of a two-dimensional character um, played by this very good-looking guy. And that, I mean, that is what ended up happening. But, um, I felt I felt like it was a really good opportunity to play a character who was kind of not exactly redeemable by the end. But I also got the paint, of the, the paintings in the movie that you've seen Dustin's Loft. Um, I worked on with Andrew Levitas, who's a producer on the movie, who's, whose paintings in real life, he's a real, very successful artist. And his paintings that are, are the ones that you see in Dustin's slideshow. And so a lot of his style of, actually the whole, the, whole, the whole paragraph that I say was taken verbatim from Andrew Levitas right before I did that scene where I'm talking about art and if it's bullshit or not. That was literally taken. That was I don't think that was in the script. But that was taken from him, um, because he said that to me, and it's, I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> and what was it like for you, uh, the experience of being the older one on set? It's interesting because the age gap is not that big. You know, I'm only about three or four years older than both of them, in real life. I feel like the character is about four or five years older than them. But that age gap from age 19 to 24, it's it's the biggest age gap of anybody's life. I feel like you become such a different person by the time that you're 24 from the person you were when you were 19. And what was it like filming in New York City? Yeah, you always attract attention, but the one thing that's great, nobody really cares because everybody has to go with their normal lives. But living in New York, as anybody in the film will tell you, or anybody who's ever shot in New York, it becomes, becomes a character and it becomes this energy that, you know, if you shot it in Toronto or Vancouver, it, w it wouldn't be the same at all. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, man. Oh, I also have to ask, are you ticklish? Depends. I, I, thought, that really... I thought that was such a great line in the movie, where uh, they, they say, uh, if you're ticklish, that makes you a great lover. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm very ticklish. <laughs> Extremely ticklish. <laughs> I thought you were asking me that. I was like, why does he want to know? Yeah. <laughs>